Hey everybody, this is RC from The Game Grave, bringing you dreams from the Sony press conference at E3 2015. This game looks incredibly crazy. Hello, thank you very much. I'm proud and excited to be here today to tell you what we've been working on at Media Molecule. It's the most ambitious, thank you. It's, it's sort of crazy, and I'm hoping today that I can kind of make you all scratch your heads. It's the, it's the most exciting thing I've ever worked on. And when we were making Little Big Planet and Tearaway, we learned a lot about digital creativity. So today, I want to tell you about the next step on that journey. We call it dreams. You know that feeling of lucid dreaming, of moving through impossible time and space? You know, perhaps you started in the streets of that city, and then suddenly you're diving into the deepest reaches of the ocean. It feels surreal and wonderful, and that's the sensation we're going for on PlayStation 4. So we're building a place where you go to play and explore the dreams of others, and then you can create and share your own. Every individual dream is seamlessly linked to the others. It's sort of woven into an open dreamiverse. You can get lost for hours exploring, journeying through the imaginations of thousands of PS4 gamers. And the thing that unites them all is that feeling of being in a dream. But when we tried to capture those fleeting dreamlike moments, we found that there weren't any suitable tools out there, and we needed a new creative palette. And of course, we'll be giving that palette to you, the gamers. So we threw away the usual polygons, keyframes, lists, all of that, and we focused instead on sketching, collaboration, immediacy, and making it feel like a game. So let me show you how it works. So it seems like there's a lot it's of intro to this to prepare you for it, and there kind of needs to be because this, everything this is pretty weird. Is on PlayStation 4 with no pre-made assets. The game looks like a moving painting. It's beautiful and leaves room for your imagination. You can sketch collaboratively on your sofa, live online, or build on the work of others. You call up their dreams and then remix, collage, and link them together. You stand on their shoulders. Because in 2015, after all, everything is a remix. And creating is easier and more fun when you're in a dream. You don't need to stress over the details. We focus on making it quick, intuitive, and rewarding. And we found that the more enjoyable we make the creation side, the more varied, exciting, and surprising are the play experiences. As you can see, anyone can piece together a whole environment in just a few moments. And to bring your world to life, you just reach in and grab it. Performance capture is puppeteering, is the most natural way to animate. So I've only had a few minutes today, so rather than trying to explain it all, I just want to give you a taste. I hope it fills your head with questions, and that's natural. Every person we've shown this to over the last four years says it takes time to sink in. So we'll have much more to share at Paris Games Week. Please stay tuned, and in the meantime, I hope you enjoy some of the first dreams realized 100% on PlayStation 4. Thanks. So the, the rest of this is going to be, I guess, a demo of, of sorts. I, I guess they made this movie, I would assume, through the software. Uh, but I, I almost feel like this isn't even really a game. This almost seems like uh, software for uh, maybe a, a game development company or a, a, an animation studio. I love the polar bear animation here. This is great. That's uh, so cool. But it, it seems like software that they would use to use for their projects. And I thought it was pretty insane that you're basically using the motion of the PS4 controller to animate and create all of this stuff. I'm sure there's a lot more to it than what they're showing you in the beginning video there. But the fact that you could make that little guy in the chair and then, you know, animate him with the same movements and everything is pretty weird. But if it's not for these uh, different studios to use as, as software, I'm, I'm not quite sure who this is targeted to. But Media Molecule has always been kind of that way, right? They've always been a, a little strange, but... Nonetheless, this is something I'd definitely like to check out and see what it's all about. Stay tuned for more videos from E3 2015.